Welcome to The Catholic Faith Explained. My name is Anthony Gonzalez and I will be your guide on this journey you are about to take. My goal is to not only instruct you regarding the truths of the Catholic faith, but to explain to you why the church teaches what she teaches. I am going to try to keep the lessons short because each lesson will be packed with so much information that you will need time to digest it. Now, before we begin lesson one, and to give you confidence in my qualifications to teach you the Catholic faith, here are my credentials. I've been studying the Catholic religion since I was 14 years old. I received a call from God to pursue the Catholic priesthood at the age of 16. I graduated magna cum laude from Loyola University in Los Angeles with a bachelor's degree in philosophy and history. I spent two years in the Norbertine Monastery spent those years studying classical Thomistic philosophy and Augustinian spirituality. I studied two years in a modernist seminary, graduate studies in theology. I then transferred to the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas in Rome under the auspices of the Dominicans where I graduated with a master's degree in mystical theology and graduated magna cum laude. I have not stopped studying the Catholic faith since graduating, and so this is very important that you know my credentials so that you can have confidence in what I'm about to teach you. I am going to teach you the whole truth about the Catholic faith. Nothing that I teach you is going to be anything other than what the church has always taught from the very beginning till now so that you can have confidence in what I'm about to teach you. Lesson 1. The Essential Reason and Purpose God Established the Catholic Religion. I'm going to start this first class a little differently than most catechism classes. Most catechism classes start with, you know, God, of course. And that would make sense since he is the beginning and the end and the reason for all of this. However, in order to understand where the Catholic faith fits in and why God established the Catholic faith as his religion, um, I need to give you a background, uh, an understanding of particular definitions and, and concepts and principles so that when we come across those concepts and principles within the context of the faith, you'll have a better understanding of what and why the church is teaching what it teaches. So, um, this structure is a little bit different, but if I put you on a solid foundation so that when I teach you these, you know, what the church teaches and you understand the principal foundations upon which it is built, it will give you a deeper appreciation for the faith. So let's start with a couple of definitions. You see, words mean something, right? Words are supposed to specify reality to one degree or another. We use words to communicate truth. We use words to communicate ideas. Now, here's a concept. And this is something that I want you to imagine for a second. What was your brain made for? Why were you given the ability to think? Were you given the ability to think in order to just fantasize whatever you want to fantasize and imagine whatever you want to imagine, things that don't exist but that you wished existed? Is that why you were given a brain or were you given a brain to know reality, to know the truth, to know what really is? So. We learn things like mathematics and we find out that 2 plus 2 equals 4. It doesn't equal 5. It doesn't equal 3. 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's, it's a law of reality. And if you understand that and you understand that my speaking to you, language is a means by which we communicate reality to one another. Then you'll understand that falsehood or the communication of that which does not exist can be devastating to one's 
psychology, to one's spirituality, to one's view of the world. And I'll give you, uh, I'll give you a, a little example. Let's say that a guy is dating a woman. They've met, they really like each other. They have that instant spark and that chemistry is there. And so they date each other for a while and they're, and what happens in that process of dating? They're finding out about one another. That's what the whole purpose of the dating is. To find out who this person I'm dating really is and why they think the way they do and why they feel the way they do and what has been their history, their experiences. and. Can I share that? Am I, does, do their experiences sort of coincide with mine? Is there commonality there? So that's the whole process that dating does. Or a friendship. It's exactly the same way with a friend, friends. And friends communicate to each other what they're feeling, what they're thinking, how they how, how they view things and you find that commonality and it clicks. Now, what if in the process of dating, the woman discovers later on after she's built this entire relationship on what this person has been telling her about himself. And she's built this and she is completely in love with this person because of everything that he's revealed to her about himself. And suddenly she finds out that everything he told her really was a lie. You've seen 60 Minutes, you've seen uh, uh, Dateline, you've seen all of these different television shows that show you instances where this has actually happened and this person this guy may have three wives in other places and yet he, she had absolutely no idea of who he really was so was her love real well her love was real but it but love has to have an object and if you're loving something that doesn't exist, well, it doesn't go anywhere. It's, it, 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 it's, 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 not, it's not true love. The object of your love has to be real. That is exactly why we were given a mind and a brain to know reality to know the truth so that we can make a proper judgment so that we can do things like love somebody, like have a relationship with somebody. You can't have a relationship with somebody if that person really doesn't exist. You'll have a relationship with an idea that that person presented to you as existing, but that really isn't the reality. That's what life, that's what the Catholic Church is all about. It wants to present to us the reality of what God came to give us about himself, the truth about God. And that's what the church does. It filters through all of the falsehood and it finds the absolute reality, the absolute truth about God. That's what it's all about. That's what the Catholic faith is all about. That's what the Catholic religion is all about. And you know what it's all about? It's about a relationship. It's about your relationship and my relationship with God and with one another. It's relationship. That's what the Catholic faith means. That's what it's about. And the reason that it's so precious and so important that this relationship determines whether or not we live for the rest of eternity in that relationship or if we choose a different path, another relationship. And we're going to get into all of this and we're and you're going to be able to see clearly what it's all about. But I want you to understand that when we're talking about the Catholic faith, we're talking about a relationship. It's a relationship with God and a relationship with our fellow man. 
And that relationship with God is extremely specific in that God became a man and walked amongst us so that we could have a real, tangible relationship with him. That central concept is what the Catholic faith is all about. If you can understand that and if you can grasp that, that really the Catholic faith is a love relationship. It's all about love. That's what it is. In fact, it's a teaching of the Catholic faith that in the end, we are not going to be judged on anything except love, how we love. That's what we're going to be judged on. God gave us two great commandments. All the other ones fit within those two great commandments. And what are they? They are love the Lord your God with every fiber of your existence and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus actually specified that even more. He even made it even a greater commandment because he said not just to love your neighbor as yourself, but to love each other to love one another as he loved us. And we're, I'm going to unfold all of this for you, but I want you to understand that in the end, the Catholic faith is all about the relationship that we have with God and with one another, and that it's all based on love. And we're going to go into all of the definitions and understandings of that, but that's what it's based on. And so for the first lesson, if I can get you to grasp that one concept, then it sort of makes it enticing, I hope, that this is a journey of love. I'm going to, I'm going to bring you into the loving embrace of God and the loving embrace of one another.